Here we go guys, mail call day. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we've been pounded on with snow this past week. Uh, I think we're getting a little bit more warmer temperatures now, which is nice. Man, I hate winter. It just sucks. Anywho, this makes things a lot better when you get mail calls. And so I had a buddy that I've uh, completed a, a trade with. And so I've got a couple decks from him here. I'm gonna show you what, you get, uh, what they are. We'll get into this, open them up. I know my buddy Adam, he packages things really well and the, the key to keep, keeping shipping costs down is just get it nice and small. So this isn't actually from Empire. Um, in, the, in the collecting industry, uh, these boxes are like gold. If you're buying and selling, uh, there's so many guys that just keep these boxes on hand. Uh, because they're great if you're selling again just because of the odd shapes of the boards obviously <clears throat> thin and long um, you want to have these board uh, these boxes available and so anywho let's dive into it I'm going to open this up again not a empire ad um, but at some point somebody did buy a box or a board from empire and uh, they're a good store so I've definitely bought boards from them in the past I do have a knife here. Adam's done a great job of taking this up. Still to get into it and see what's going on. Maybe I should have cut the first layer here first. Man, good job, Adam. Feel it. All right. I don't want to slice into my hand or into any of the decks. Lots of bubble in there. And so actually with that, there better not be any stoke in here because we did a trade. I told Adam that we weren't going to um, provide any additional stoke, that we'll share the stoke for the buyers. And so I've known Adam a bit now. I actually met Adam through um, just some of the Facebook pages that I've been on. He's a really rad dude and has had some wicked decks over the years. Um, cool guy, good collector. All right, so I've got this open. Love the bubble. On top of the bubble we have some good wrapping paper there. Some additional... Okay. There's three boards in this thing, so it'll be nice and tight. So each board is bubble wrapped independently. So let's take a look here. If I can slide this first one out. Nice and slow. Ooh. Here we go. You guys can see through the bubble wrap there what we've got going on. All right. So this one is still... Well, we've got bubble wrap, as well as, I think, a poly bag on it. So yeah, and then it's also in a poly bag. Get that open. Move that. I think I'm opening from the wrong side here. So I'll try to pick this up and move along here so you can get a look at the other boards. Um, but this is what we're looking at so far. Sorry. Just going to try to open this again. If we can reuse stuff, it's always good. So let's get into this bad boy. Oh, it's still in shrink. So here we go. Killer. Ripper. Nice, that's a nice clean deck. So this is the 2018 reissue. Dig the color on it. some concave for you. All right, board one down. Two more to go. What do we got here? Ooh. So these are some of the newer releases, obviously, that we're seeing here, right? Okay, see what that one is as well. I just slide that off. Some good bubble wrap action going on here. 
Oh man, this is a sexy board. We get into, there we are. Mike McGill, still in shrink. And so I'm more of a, like a mid to late 80s uh, shaped guy. Um, but this is a pretty sick deck. The Mike McGill, Palo Peralta Mike McGill, wicked. And so this is the 2019 reissue. We can see here it says SOC 2019. And there you have it, guys. Two boards down. Two Powells thus far. This one's going to mix it up a bit for us. I'm actually pretty excited to see this one. Because um, this is a little bit different. I don't get uh, many variations in my collection from other decks. You can see I do have a few. My Dogtown, the Aaron Murray there. But that's something that, that was my very first pro board. Not that exact one, but that's the, the board I rode. Uh, then I have an OG... Um, Ross Cop face up there, and then the Vision Jinx is actually my son's, and I'm gonna have to pull it down soon and throw it, throw it in his room so I actually can get my boards up there. Uh, but it's a really rad deck too, that Vision Jinx. And then everything else is Powell. So to get something like what I have here, is a, a bit of a treat. And I don't know. I'm going to take a look at this. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it or not. You guys have, you can see it a bit there. Um, but uh, it's it's just, I have so many other, well, I have a bunch of Powell decks coming as well uh, that I need to make room for. And, and I have limited wall space, so I can only keep a certain amount of decks. So actually, one gentleman was asking me if I was allergic to uh, Santa Cruz, and I am definitely not. I love some of those decks. I love the Santa Cruz Neptune, especially the one with the, the bat up top. Love to get my hands on that. It's just that I only have so much wall space. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm keeping certain decks, so I'm just trying to find the tape here. Uh, so I mostly stick to, yeah, the Powell decks, just because, again, in our small community, we didn't have a lot of option to be watching a bunch of different movies and stuff. And we did manage to get our hands on like the Bones Brigade, um, Search for Animal Chin, Bandits, Propaganda, that sort of thing. And so that tends to be uh, where I flow as far as uh, from this collection standpoint. All right, cool. I'm just going to get this out of the bag here, and then we'll wrap it up. Well, it's a pretty cool board. All right, a Sims. Man, this is really clean. I'm stoked on this board. There you go, the Sims Screamer 2. Cool. Um, there is a few marks and stuff around the table, uh, on the, the tail here, um, but this is a wicked deck. It is a reissue. I'm not sure when it was reissued. Uh, I think it was a while ago. Um, Adam's had this one sitting around for quite a bit, um, but that's actually a pretty killer graphic. Uh, and I know there's another Screamer as well. I, I think Adam had it, but he ended up selling that one. Anyways, there you go, guys. So The Sims Screamer 2. We have the Mike McGill, Wicked in Orange. This thing pops like crazy. I actually dig the blue on the orange there. That looks killer. And then to finish it up, the Powell Ripper, which again, wicked color. Awesome. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Sorry about all the noise. Unpacking it. Wish I could have gone through that a little bit quicker, um, but wanted to give you guys a first-hand look at uh, just some of these decks. Cheers. Enjoy your weekend.